Welcome to Crimson Guitars and welcome to the 135th episode of the Guitar Builders Basics video podcast. Luthiers tips, tricks and training from me, Ben Crow at Crimson Guitars in the UK. Uh, today's question is one that I've had a couple of times now. Uh, this is from Mark Budden on YouTube. He says, hi Ben, how do you cut the headstock on a guitar with a fanned fretboard? Uh, is there an additional angle because of the fan? And this is something that really uh, you tend not to think about until you do it and it's like actually there's something a little bit strange there yes there is an additional angle it's not even an angle it's a curve it's very very weird and it just so happens that um, Tom one of our luthiers is making a pair of uh, eight string fan fret monsters um, they're not monsters they're going to be beautiful and uh, he uh, recently did this now basically what you do is have a straight line where the furthest point is so on the bass side obviously on a right handed guitar that's the nut is furthest away from the bridge and we had a straight line going up from there and planed the angle on as you normally would okay and that's fairly straightforward so that face holding a straight edge on it is square and straight and you know and lovely and what that does is it leaves you with a flat section behind the nut that you don't want to be fat flat or fat uh, what you need to do then is plane, and I would use a plane, from the lowest point at the end, edge of your nut. This is so difficult to explain uh, in words, but anyway. And uh, you plane from that point to the end of the headstock. And at this point, you have a different angle but we have, no, we have no choice, basically. Um, now, what you end up with is a section where you've got a straight from there to there and a line across the middle. That's one triangle there. And you've got another triangle at a different angle going from this point down to the furthest extremity of the, uh, of the headstock. And then it is simply a case of rasping or filing or spoke shaving, uh, which, is what, uh, which is what Tom used, that angle in. Now, he ended up with a slight radius. And, and you do, you'll end up with a, a hump. It's not even a slight hump, it's a, it's a hump. You can see the, I think, this is actually really, really weird really weird to film let's try that so there's a there's a hump in the middle of that and frankly put a veneer on it clamp it all down and it will look absolutely fine uh, we Jap the Japanese saw rasp is your friend basically um, it's nice and flat and flat and very 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 good for that sort of stuff if you don't have um, spoke shaves and the like. And essentially, you will end up with a compound angle of sorts. And basically, it's just a case of carve it away and see what happens. Um, it's one of those things. It is one of those things. It's a bit strange. Now, there is another option. If you want your headstock to be perfectly flat, it's gonna be at a strange angle uh, and perfectly flat. Now, what you could do is plane it down from the lower edge and basically keep that angle. Now, to do that will be very strange. You're going to end up with a high point at this side and the whole the whole headstock veneer is going to be angled. 
Um, anyhow, look, this is a, it's a strange thing, and I'm sure there are many, many, many different ways to do it. Um, if you have built a fan fret instrument, how did you address this? What did you end up with? And uh, please share in the comments below. Uh, actually, I'm intrigued because uh, as I've said this, my, my mind's saying there's a third way, there's a third way. So if you have a third way, please let us know. Uh, it is, uh, it's all about learning here, whether we're teaching you or you're teaching us. So uh, yeah, in the comments below, uh, click like, click subscribe, and check out our other videos. We're, um, we're on the verge of hitting 50,000 subscribers now, which is absolutely awesome. Um, it's, we're going to have to do some sort of a, a giveaway or something, aren't we? That's a, that's a milestone. Um, we'll, have a, we'll have a huge something. Anyway, that's besides the point. Look, um, thank you very much for watching. Check out crimsonguitars.com. Check out our shop where, hey, Japanese saw, saw arts, we've got them up for sale. Um, and ah, we're in the process of adding a whole mess of uh, new tools and uh, products from third party suppliers now into our shops. So uh, check that out. If there is anything that you'd like to see us supply, sandpaper for example, um, please say in the comments below or send us an email or something because uh, we're trying to expand um, to be the one-stop shop for everything Bluthier's supplies. Uh, apart from hardware. But I'm not going to do hardware just yet. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. I'm out. Goodbye.